Where's Gilbert? Sure do. <laughs> Here, kitty kitty, come and get it. Uh, I guess Gilbert decided the game's over. <sighs> Caillou was disappointed. He didn't want the game to be over. Suddenly, he had an idea. Here, kitty kitty, come and get it. <laughs> no, Gilbert. Caillou was upset with Gilbert. Gilbert wasn't doing what he wanted him to do. Go away, Gilbert. I'm the cat now. Oh, how about we take a lemonade break? Okay, Grandpa. All done. Does Caillou the cat uh, want his lemonade in a glass or a bowl? Caillou noticed that Gilbert didn't have any water left in his bowl. Caillou, I was just kidding about drinking out of a bowl. <laughs> I know, Grandpa. This is for Gilbert. Gilbert! After their lemonade, Caillou decided to play outside while Grandpa had a little cat nap. Gilbert! Gilbert wasn't out in the yard. Maybe he was having a cat nap, too. I heard you and Grandpa had a lot of fun this afternoon. Uh-huh. I was pretending I was Gilbert. <gasps> oh! Daddy, where's Gilbert? He's always here for supper. What if he's lost? Gilbert lost? I'm sure Gilbert is fine. He's probably just outside. Now, come on, you two. Time to clean up and get ready for bed. Don't worry. I'll call Gilbert in before I go to bed tonight, okay? Okay, Daddy. Gilbert! Here, kitty kitty! Gilbert? Hmm. Oh, chilly. Daddy! Where's Gilbert? I don't know. He didn't come in last night when I called him. Let's have our breakfast before we go look outside, okay? Gilbert! Gilbert! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Gilbert! 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 I found him! Gilbert! You kitty, kitty, kitty! <laughs> That's not Gilbert. That's Sarah's cat, Ollie. Not Gilbert. There you are, silly cat. Sarah, have you seen Gilbert? He didn't come home last night. Oh. Uh-uh. But Ollie sometimes stays out longer than that. Once, when he was little, we lost him. So we went to the animal shelter. Someone found him and brought him there. That's a good idea. Let's go to the animal shelter and take a look. Don't worry, Caillou. He'll turn up. You'll see. Yes, every day until 7. Thank you. Look! The parrot's the one making that noise, Caillou. That's enough, Bernie. Sorry to have kept you waiting. That's okay. Bernie was entertaining us. How does he make that ringing sound? Parrots are good at imitating sounds. We used to have a bell on the counter, but it broke. Bernie imitates it and everything else you say around him. Ah, that's enough, Bernie. Ah. <laughs> I bet you get all kinds of pets in here. Yes, we do. People have lots of different pets, not just cats and dogs. Caillou thought about what it would be like to have a different pet. <laughs> yeah. 
shoo, shoo. Pee you. Oh, wait, slow down. <laughs> Caillou decided that he didn't want any other kind of pet. He just wanted Gilbert back. But where could Gilbert be? So, what can I do for you? We can't find Gilbert. Hmm. Well, I can see that Gilbert has a tag on his collar. That's a good thing, since we can easily identify him with that. Let me check. Gilbert. Hmm. Sorry, I don't have any cats on file who fit his description. But why don't you go take a look in back, just to make sure? Are you lost too? Hello, little kitty. Do you know my cat Gilbert? Come on, Caillou, let's go. It doesn't look like Gilbert's here. No luck, huh? Don't worry. Cats are funny that way. They disappear, but they can reappear just as quickly. I'll keep an eye out for Gilbert, okay? Keep an eye out for Gilbert. Bah! Keep an eye out for Gilbert. Bah! Thanks, Bernie. Bye. <laughs> Gilbert! Daddy, it's Gilbert! He came home! Oh, Gilbert, I'm so glad you're back. So am I. Let's tell Rosie and Mommy the good news. Mommy, Rosie, look! Gilbert! You shouldn't stay out all night, Gilbert. Aw, <laughs> I missed you too. Where I saw it last. <coughs> beep, beep. See my new car, Gilbert? The door's open and the truck does too. Caillou liked playing under the kitchen table with Gilbert. It was his special hideaway place in the middle of a busy kitchen. Rosie, do it. Good job. Where's Caillou? I thought he was with you. <laughs> Gilbert, shh. <laughs> well, if Caillou isn't around, I'll have to go and get Jeffrey and Jason all by my lonesome. Here I am, Mommy. I'll go with you. Oh, good. I thought I'd have to go and play at the park with Jason and Jeffrey all by myself. Those two would have tired me out. And besides, I can never tell them apart. Jason and Jeffrey were identical twins. They looked exactly alike, but Caillou could tell them apart. Well, sometimes he could. I'm going to bring my new car to show them. <laughs> Bye, Rosie. Bye, Caillou. Bye. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Jason. I brought my new car. Want to see? <laughs> sure, but I'm Jeffrey. I guess I'm not the only one who has trouble telling you two apart. That's okay. We're used to it. We have new cars, too. Vroom, vroom. Who wants to have a race? I do. This is the start. And this is the finish line. Mm -hmm. Everybody ready? On your mark, get set, go!
to go for some ice cream. I do, I do. <laughs> Is it polite to play with your car on the table? Thank you. Wow! Yummy! Thank you, Mommy! And thank you, too! Thank you! Thank you! It's a mini umbrella. Can I keep it? You certainly can. <laughs> Look! The bird's eating ice cream, too! I bet your ice cream doesn't taste as good as ours. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Are you boys going to be able to walk, or should I roll you out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your umbrella, Mommy? Sure, here you go. Race you to the front door. Okay, go! Hey, wait up! I win! Let's do it again! This time my mommy will count. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> I won, I won! <laughs> Come on, Caillou, we have to go home now. Bye! Bye, Jason! Bye, Jeffrey! Bye, Caillou! Thank you! Oh! Caillou had missed his daddy. He couldn't wait to tell him all that he had done. Hi, Daddy! We went to the park with Jason and Jeffrey and raced our cars in the sandbox. And then we went for ice cream and I bought you a present! Why, thank you! Rosie, too! Rosie won umbrella, too! I'm sorry, Rosie, but it's a little too sharp for you to play with. Hang on, Rosie. I have something else you can play with. Remember my super neat car? Caillou couldn't figure out where his car could possibly be. Mommy, I don't have my car. Can you remember when you saw it last? Hmm. Caillou thought about where he'd been that day. I remember playing with it at the park. And after the park, we went for ice cream. Ice cream? Rosie, you want ice cream? I remember having it at the ice cream place because you didn't want me to play with it at the table. That's right. Hmm. And then we went to Jason and Jeffrey's house. We raced to the front door and... <gasps> I don't think I had my car at Jason and Jeffrey's house. So the last time I saw my car was at the ice cream parlor. Can we go back and look for it, Mommy? Ice cream! Ice cream! It's not here. We'll just have to keep looking. Ice cream! Ice cream! Okay, Rosie, I know, I know. Is this what you're looking for? My car! Thank you! I found it on the bench. I was hoping you'd remember where you left it and come back for it. Caillou was very proud that he had remembered where he saw his car last. I remembered! I remembered! <laughs> Caillou remembered! <laughs> <laughs>
lost in the jungle. Caillou, what are you doing down there? I can't find Gilbert. He's hiding again. We'll look for him later. It's time to get ready for play school. You'll need your boots today. It's wet outside. Caillou tried to get ready, but he kept wondering where Gilbert was. Gilbert! Caillou? Are you still trying to find Gilbert? Yes, he's playing hide and seek with me. Maybe he's outside. <laughs> Caillou, aren't you forgetting something? Oh. <laughs> You'll have to be a detective, Caillou. How can I be a detective? Well, just look for clues that will help you find him. Caillou thought that was a good idea. So he started looking for clues. A cat paw print. That's a clue. More clues. Caillou was sure he'd found Gilbert this time. Maybe Gilbert doesn't want to play right now. But I know some people who do want to play with you this morning. Sounds like I've got a whole zoo full of jungle animals here. I've got a brand new book about the jungle. Would you like to see it? The jungle is very hot, and it's home to all sorts of wild creatures. Some live way up in the trees. Like monkeys! <laughs> and birds! Right! This kind of bird is called a parrot. Can you pretend you're a parrot? Good! The king of the jungle. Oh! A lion! Roar! Caillou liked the lion the best. He thought he looked a little bit like Gilbert. But much, much bigger. I think it's time all of our jungle animals went outside to play. Looks like there's some time to play before it rains again. Caillou had an idea. Let's play hide and seek in the jungle. Okay, I'll hide and you find me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Caillou imagined he was a real explorer. Ah! <laughs> You're not Leo. <laughs> Caillou decided it was time for some detective work. A clue. Caillou still didn't know where Leo was hiding. He needed more clues. That sounded like a clue. <coughs> Hello, Parrot. Do you know where Leo is? Sorry, Caillou. 
like Leo's footprint. <laughs> and that sounds like Leo's laugh. Leo? Hi, you. How'd you know I was here? I just followed the clues. <sighs> I'm the king of the jungle. <laughs> You're just a big kitty cat. Meow. Roar! <laughs> I see another clue that means it's gonna rain again. Ah, uh, you! Mommy! And I followed the clues, just like a detective, and found Leo hiding in the bushes. It sounds like you had a busy day. Now, don't forget to take your boots off or you'll get mud everywhere. Uh-oh, too late. Gilbert! Oh, Gilbert. That night, Caillou was very happy to be in his bed. He didn't think he'd like to be in the jungle when it was raining. a lion. <laughs> Everyone's best. <laughs> Hi, Clementine. I won it at my swimming lessons. I got a blue one at my daddy's office picnic. I was the fastest runner. I'm a fast runner, too. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. What's the matter, Caillou? Aren't you going to try and catch them? I can't run as fast as they can. Don't let that bother you. You're good at lots of other things. I wish I could win a ribbon like Clementine's. Well, maybe you can. You've given me a wonderful idea. I'll be right back. You can't catch me. <laughs> Grandma thought that she could help Caillou win a ribbon. Okay, everybody, who wants to play some games? I have plenty of ribbons you can win. I, I do. do! Don't you want to play with the others, Caillou? Will I win a ribbon? I don't know, but you'll have lots of fun trying. Caillou? Wait for me, Grandma! In this race, everyone has to walk heel to toe, like this. <laughs> <laughs> One foot right in front of the other, all the way to the white ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone ready? On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> 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 was disappointed he hadn't won. But he was determined to win the next game. Well done, everybody. Ready for another one? Yeah! How about a big smile for Grandma? Ooh. Very nice. Lovely. Hmm. Oh, I found the biggest smile. Leo is the winner. <laughs> Good smiling, Leo. Thank you. What's the matter, Caillou? I want to win a ribbon. 
I know you do, honey. But remember, they're games. And games are supposed to be fun. Caillou decided that Mommy was right. He was thinking too much about the ribbons and not enough about having fun. Who wants to play the next game? I do. Next was a contest for the silliest walk. <laughs> <laughs> course. First, you jump over this mattress and land with both feet. Then you do a hurdle jump over the ball like this. Then you pick up the ball, stand on the line, and throw it into the basket. If it goes in, run as fast as you can back to the start. <laughs> <laughs> on your mark, get set, having so much fun now, he'd forgotten all about winning a ribbon. Grandma's next game was a no-smiling contest. No matter what happened, you couldn't smile or laugh or giggle. Oh. <laughs> Rosie's out. Come sit with me, Rosie. Let's make the others laugh. <laughs> Gilbert, you can have a ribbon, too, for having the best purr. <laughs> Yay, Gilbert! Stronger every day. <laughs> Be careful, boys. That basket's heavy. for you, Caillou. Here, let me take it. Caillou wished he could be big and strong like his daddy. <laughs> Birdie! <laughs> Where are you going? 
It's almost time to eat. I'm not hungry. Rosie hungry. Oh, oh no, you don't. Cows eat grass, not little Rosies. Moo! <laughs> Can we play on the monkey bars until lunch is ready? All right. Can I come too? I love the monkey bars. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou was tired of being small. He wanted to be big and strong. <laughs> Want a boost, little monkey? first to try them out. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other one only has four. Daddy, can I try, please? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Very good, Caillou. Caillou was disappointed that he couldn't make it to the end of the monkey bars. I'm gonna be a monkey too. Oh, oh, ah, ah. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> good for you, Leo. Can I try again? You sure can. One, two, really wanted to keep going, but his arms were tired and sore, and his fingers just couldn't hold on any longer. Ugh. I can only do four. You went further than I did. Four's a lot. Five, too. On the old bars, that would have been all the way to the end. But I want to go all the way across on these monkey bars. We'll have to get a little stronger first. How can I get stronger? I know the answer to that one. Do you want me to tell you? Yes! Hmm. <laughs> to grow up big and strong, you have to... I can't tell you. <laughs> Daddy! Okay, I'll tell you. At the picnic blanket, it's time for lunch. <laughs> okay! Yay! <laughs> Flutterby, Flutterby, Flutterby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mommy. We were swinging like monkeys. Well, I think I have just the thing for two little monkeys. Moo! <laughs> Sounds like feeding time at the zoo. Tell us, Daddy. Tell you what? Tell us what we have to do to grow up big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> to grow up big and strong, you have to... Wait a minute. You already know. Who told you? We don't know. Tell us. To grow up strong, you have to eat healthy food, like fruits and vegetables and sandwiches. And you have to drink healthy drinks, like juice and milk. I already knew that. <laughs> it also helps to get lots of sleep at night and lots of exercise during the day. That's really just another word for playing. Getting strong is gonna be easy, because those are all my favorite things. Me too! I'm gonna be really, really strong! Hmm. Hmm. Who 
would like some more milk. Me, me, me. Me too, please. No. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Billy, my chain fell off. There you go, Clem. Thanks, Billy. Hey, Caillou. You're sure getting strong. Really? I am? Sure. You were way too little to lift that last year. Really? Hey, Daddy, guess what? I am getting stronger, see? Caillou knew it would take a long time to grow really big and strong. But he could get a little bit stronger every <laughs> single day. <laughs> I want to be big right now. I want to be big right now. I want to be big right now. I want to do the things that grown-ups do right now. If I was big, I could drive a real fancy car. If I was big, I could be a famous soccer star. I could go to the I'm going to wash the front windows. Can I help? Sure thing. Whoa! Caillou fall down. That bucket's a bit big for you to carry, Caillou. Here, why don't you carry these? I'll bring the bucket. <laughs> there, all done. We did a good job, didn't we? We sure did. Thanks for helping, Caillou. <laughs> is that bike getting smaller, or is my little girl growing bigger? Yay! <laughs> Rosie Big Girl now. <laughs> Look at me, Daddy! You're getting big, too. Hi, Caillou. Want to go for a ride? Can I go? Sure. Can I come along, too, Sarah? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie's trike. You have your own bicycle, Daddy. Oh. Caillou was upset that his training wheels were slowing him down. Riding without my extra wheels like Sarah? Are you sure you're ready to take your training wheels off? I want to try, Daddy. Please. I rode my bike with training wheels for a long time, Caillou. I only took them off a little while ago. I'm a big boy now, see? I don't need extra wheels. All right. 
let's give it a try, but you're going to have to practice and be patient. Switching to two wheels isn't easy. Can we go home and take them off right now? Why not? Can you imagine he was bicycling without his training wheels and racing with yeah. the grown-ups? <laughs> You were going so fast, you missed the turn. It's back this way. Come on, Caillou. Go, Caillou! You can do it. Yeah! Whoa! Daddy, don't let go! Phew. Maybe we should stop for a rest and try again later. I'm not tired, Daddy. didn't understand why he couldn't ride his bike without the training wheels. I think my bike is getting tired. Come on, Rosie. Let's get you changed out of those wet things. Caillou, can you help Rosie with her shoes while I get the phone? Okay, Rosie. No, I do it, Caillou. the wrong foot, Rosie. I do it! You've got your shoes on the wrong feet. <laughs> Let me help you. No, I do it. I big girl. <laughs> Rosie fell down. Something's not quite right here, sweetie. Let's see. Riding without training wheels is hard, isn't it? Why can't I do it? Maybe you're just not ready yet. Like Rosie with her shoes? Yeah. Someday she'll be able to put on her shoes by herself and you'll be riding that bike all over the neighborhood. You'll see. Maybe I should keep the extra wheels on for a little while longer. I think that's a good idea. Because you know what? There's a right time for everything. Want to go for a bike ride? But I can't keep up with you. That's okay. This time I'm not on my bike. I'm just learning to rollerblade, so don't go too fast. Don't worry, Sarah. I won't. What's so funny? You need training wheels, Daddy. You're going too fast. Whoa. <laughs> I think you're right, Caillou. Whoa. <laughs> Caillou the Road Builder. about. Caillou knew the noise was just the wind blowing, but he was still a little afraid of the storm. <laughs> Rosie? <laughs> Rosie? Are you okay? Rosie's scared. Don't be afraid, Rosie. 
Caillou knew that Rosie was a lot more scared than he was. He wanted to help his little sister <laughs> to not be so afraid. <laughs> That's just the wind blowing, Rosie. It's going woo, woo, woo. Go to sleep, Rosie. Woo, woo, woo. Nighty night, Rosie. Nighty night, Caillou. Caillou was glad Rosie felt better. In fact, he felt better too. He wasn't afraid of a silly old storm. The next day, Mommy took Caillou to play school. It looks like that was quite a storm last night. I slept through the whole thing. Uh-oh. Look, the storm blew over that oak tree. Oh, what a shame. It was such a lovely old tree. Is it okay? I don't think so, Caillou. Its roots have been pulled up. They'll probably plant another tree there, though. Trees are very special. That corner just wouldn't look the same without one. Caillou always saw that tree on the way to play school. He was sad that it wouldn't be there anymore. Looks like we're gonna have to make a detour. What's a detour? It means we can't take our usual road to the play school today, so we'll have to go another way. tree that got knocked down and it was lying right on the road i saw it too the wind blew it right over hey caillou i bet these ponies were really rocking in the storm good morning last night's storm made a real mess of our playground so today we're cleaning up would you like to help okay sure. <laughs> look that bird is fixing his nest with that stick I'll leave some more here in case the birdie needs them. Caillou and his friends worked and worked until the playground was all cleaned up. This looks much better. Thanks for your help. This sand is too piled up to play cars. Let's build a road. Yeah! yeah. Let's build a road. I know just what we need. I'll be right back. I'll drive the bulldozer that clears the way for the road. Vroom, vroom. I'll drive the truck that pours the hot pavement. Blop, blop, blop. And I'll drive that, that thing with the, with the rolly thing. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Martin, what's the name of that big truck that drives over things and makes them flat? It's called a steamroller, Leo. Steamroller! I'm driving the steamroller! Vroom! 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 Wait! Where's our road going to? To the lakes under the swings! Good idea! Right. Vroom! Vroom! our road through the river, which means we need a bridge. We can put two blocks on the sides and one block in the middle of the river. Look out! Crane coming through! <laughs> crane, crane coming, coming through. through! Crane, crane coming, coming through! through. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Lower! Lower! Perfect! Strong enough to hold ten elephants! But is it strong enough to hold one giant foot? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that strong! Aw, too bad. Let's build some more road. Stop! This mountain is too steep. We're gonna have to dig a tunnel. I'll start digging on this side. 
<laughs> I can see you. Look, it's a big old tree. Don't do that, Clementine. It's right in our way. Drive over it, Caillou. Caillou remembered the big tree that was blown down on the road and what his mummy had said about trees. No, we have to leave it alone. Trees are special. Uh-huh. Birds live in them. We're going to have to make a detour. What's that? A detour is when you have to go a different way to get somewhere. We're going to go around the tree. Vroom, vroom. We made it to the lake. All done. And here's a boat for rides on Swing Lake. I don't need a boat. I'm going for a swim. Children, come inside for story time. Aw, I'll go for a swim later. Race you to the door. Look! <laughs> Caillou's Building Adventure. Mommy, can we make jam sandwiches too? They're my favorite. <laughs> okay, Caillou. Caillou loved helping his mommy. And today they were making lots of sandwiches. I can do it. That's great. Here, let me cut it in half. See, I'm going to cut it into two. Two triangles. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You'll have to wait until lunchtime. That looks like a strawberry jam Caillou special. Do you want Daddy to put it in the box for you? Oh, boy! We'd better get going. They're gonna need a lot of helpers to build that house. Can I come too? I want to help build the house. Sorry, Caillou. We'll be really busy working. And there's nothing for you to play with over there. Hmm. You've already been a great help by making those sandwiches for the workers. Caillou still wanted very much to go with Daddy and Grandpa and help build the house. What if Caillou went for a quick visit with you? I'll drop Rosie off at Grandma's, and Caillou can come home with me when I bring everybody's lunch. Sounds like a good plan to me. Yay! Let's go! Yay! Let's go! Daddy and Grandpa were helping a lot of other people build a house for a family that didn't have one. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait to see what everyone was doing. Just a minute, Caillou. Safety is very important here. That's why we wear work boots, to protect our feet. I've got my boots on. Good for you. We also need hard hats to protect our heads. Which one would you like? I can help. How about helping me by, uh... Uh, carrying these nails. <laughs> okay. This place can be dangerous, Caillou. You'll have to pay attention and be very careful, okay? Why? Well, you don't want to get in anybody's way while they're working. Just stay close to Grandpa and me, all right? Caillou was a little scared, but he felt safe because he was staying right by his Grandpa and Daddy. Caillou loved to watch people working. Hello! Let me give you a hand there. See you later. Hi, Sam. This is my son, Caillou. Pleased to meet you, Caillou. Say, I could use some of those nails. I just ran out. Oh, here you go. Thank you. I just need a couple to finish this wall. Then we can put it up. Caillou didn't think this looked much like a wall at all. Want to help, Caillou? Uh huh. Count to three for us so we'll all lift at the same time. One, two, three, lift! <laughs> Wall. <laughs> With lots 
of holes. We'll fix that real soon. With everybody helping, our house will be finished in no time. Sam's family is going to live in this house when it's done. That's his son right over there. Why don't you see if he wants to play? Hi, I'm Caillou. I'm Frankie. Wanna help? Caillou was very proud that he could help. He felt like a real house builder. Caillou? Caillou! I think we've got enough gravel for the moment. Thanks for all your hard work. Is this really gonna be your house? Yep, we live in an apartment now. But when the house is ready, I'm gonna have my very own room. Wanna see it? Daddy, can I go look at Frankie's new room, please? Sure, but I'll come with you. Remember, we have to be careful around here. This is it. My room! Yippee! It's big! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my window. I can see the whole street from here. This is going to be a great room, Frankie. Mommy's here! You know what that means. Lunch time! Thank you. Jam! That's my favorite! Mine too! <laughs> Caillou liked his new friend, Frankie. It looks wet! It's soft too! Look! Well, what do we have here? <gasps> I've got an idea. You are both helping to build this house, so why don't you leave your mark? How about a handprint? <laughs> okay, Caillou, it's time to go. Look, Mommy, I left my mark. Bye, Caillou. Come and visit me in my new house when it's done. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou couldn't wait to see Rosie and Grandma and tell them all about his great building adventure. Working together. Hey, Leo, do you want to help me build a castle? Sure, Caillou. Working together, we can build anything. Like a real big castle that is fit for a king. If we take our time and work as one, we'll go step by step till we get the job done. We need the right equipment. We need the right clothes. A tractor to move things. Truck to bulldoze. Let's draw up a plan, then clear the site. We can move these trees to the left or the right. Let's use our shovels and start to dig. Cause we want our castle to be very big. Let's, Let's build, build it high up, up to the, the sky. sky. And keep out the water so our castle is dry. Now I hear there's a dragon, so we must build a gate. So make sure you measure, make sure that it's straight. Now we're almost done, let's close the door. We can build anything! A house in the sky! Hmm. It was a beautiful summer day, and Caillou the Explorer had found an anthill. Rosie! Come see what I found! Rosie. Daddy! They're just little ants. Uh, ants can't hurt you, can they, Daddy? Well, some ants bite, but the ants we have here don't. They're perfectly safe. 
Upsie daisy. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Caillou wondered what it would be like to be really, really small, like an ant. Yippee! Hello? Oh, yes, it is. Who's this? Really? It's so nice to hear your voice again. Where have you been? Can I take a look? Sure. They are really small, so you have to use this. <laughs> <laughs> they tickle. Me too. That was Carol. Remember Carol from high school? Well, she's moved to the city and wants me to come over tomorrow. She has a little boy, Caillou. His name is Kevin, and he's four. I'm four, too. Can I come with you, Mommy? Of course you can, but it's a long car ride. You'll have to bring some books to look at. It was a very, very long trip. Are we there yet, Mommy? No, Caillou, but we're getting close. Caillou knew he should be patient and wait, but he was starting to think they would never get there. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Caillou was bored. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Where's Kevin's house, Mommy? Kevin lives in this apartment building, way, way up on the 17th floor. Wow. Tall buildings like this are called skyscrapers, Caillou. Can you guess why? Because they go so high up, they scrape the sky. Right. Would you like to go up and meet Kevin now? Caillou had never met anyone who lived in the sky before. He could hardly wait to go inside. Thank you. Thank you! You're welcome. Can I press the button? We're going to 17. One, seven. Mommy, my tummy feels funny. Bye, thanks for the ride. <laughs> Why are there so many doors? Each door leads to a different apartment where a different family lives. Hmm, how does Kevin know which one is his door? Each door has a number on it, see? Kevin lives at number 10. Oh. Eight. Nine. Here it is, number ten. Well, hello there. Carol, so good to see you. And this must be Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Caillou. Hi. Want to see my room? Okay. Can we go play in your backyard? I don't have a backyard, but I have a park that I go to every day. Me too, with swings and a big slide. Do you want to see my park? Yeah, can I press the buttons in the elevator? Caillou didn't know what Kevin was doing. He thought he was going to show him the park. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. He had never seen a view like this before. Wow! Everything looked so small. See over there? That's my park. <coughs> We're up in the sky with the birds! <laughs> Look! You have 
it's in your backyard, too. Caillou thought the people down below looked like little ants, just like the ones in his backyard. I'm making a skyscraper that goes all the way up to the clouds. Can I help? Yep. Okay, Caillou, time to go home. My goodness, you two have been busy. We made a skyscraper, Mommy. See? It's very impressive. Can Kevin come and play at our house someday? Of course. Kevin and his mom can come for a visit anytime. When you come, be sure to bring lots of books for the car ride, because it's a long, long way away. Bye! Did you and Kevin have fun? Uh-huh. Kevin's home sure is different from ours, isn't it, Mommy? Yes, it is. But I bet you and Kevin still have a lot of things in common. We sure do! We both have ants in our backyards. Ants? Do, do.